Grotto. We are 95% of the way done. Only thing left is just a few touch-ups and then color. And it turned out pretty interesting. We have a lot of cool lighting at night. We'll have a lot of color with the lighting and the carving and things. It's, it's pretty interesting. I think uh, the customer is blown away. I don't think they expected this much out of it. And so in our waterfall cool. here, we have a grotto and we're standing inside the grotto right now. And one of the things to make this, this part of the project more interactive was we wanted to do things that would be interesting and different that people could interact with. One of the things we did was we put a porthole in here. There's an actual ship porthole on the outside that can be opened up and the waterfall is pouring over that. So there's a space, once the, the porthole is open, number one, you can see it while you're with the, the window closed, but if it's open, you can reach in, reach out from the inside, play with the water, people play back and forth. We also have one on the far side as well. And all it does is it gives us just something different. It creates some light in here. During the day, we have all kinds of cool lighting at night, but it lightens it up a little bit in the day by having, these are basically skylights, but they're actual ship portals. We had a challenge with this grotto to really create something cool and a neat look. Uh, one of the requirements the homeowner had was he wants a lot of water going over the face of the waterfall. So we knew we had, we had that working on the front side, but what would happen on the inside? So we decided to do all kinds of different low voltage lighting and we created these pockets with our wiring and our, our lights way back inside so that when the lights are on at night, you'll get to see soft glows all along the, the walls of the cave itself. We did put a few other lights. There's a, a barn lantern here and an old ship's lantern and some other lighting and tackle. There's different, co different colors in there. And just some stuff for interest. We did a few uh, old brass pressure gauges just, again, for something to look at and a lot of little detail things. Here's our other porthole going out here. And then we also put some these are technically old antique trivets. We use those just to create some interest in the wall so it's not all the same stuff. So the way that this grotto was designed, we have roughly two and a half feet of water or so in here. Our water level will be somewhere about here. We don't want it to be too deep because this is sort of a gathering area, but there'll be plenty of water in here uh, with several different layers of, of heights of seats, just so that you can swim in and swim out. And we didn't want to create too deep of a reservoir inside here, so we did keep it fairly shallow. That way it's functional. If the kids, if the small kids are brought in here, they can still stand up and, and it's not real, real deep. Normally on a, on a shallow end of the pool, you're at three to three and a half feet of water. We shallowed this up a little bit so that it's functional, being that it's a way in, it's a little more private. We didn't want there to be, to be too deep. 